Hey, what's up, y'all? It's uh, day two coming at y'all. Um, it's your boy Zach again. What up, Am Fam? What up, everyone out there? Um, I love y'all. I uh, just want to share um, part um, some more wisdom. Uh, this comes from Proverbs 18. Yesterday was Proverbs 17, Proverbs 18 today. And uh, reading comes from chapter 18, verse 6 through 8. And uh, I want to entitle this, um, How to Improve Social Skills, okay? Or Relationship Skills, you know, how, how to become a better friend, you know? Um, so, in verse 6 it says, A fool's words get them into constant quarrels or fights. They are asking for a beating. So a fool's words, a fool's words, get them into constant quarrels or fights. They are asking for a beating. Verse 7, the mouth of fools are their ruin. They trap themselves with their lips. Verse 8, rumors are like dainty morsels or wounds. That's what that means. That sink deep into one's heart. Rumors. All right, guys. Rumors. Rumors are like wounds that sink deep into one's heart. And finally, in verse 19, it says, An offended friend is harder to be won back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate. Locked with bars. Arguments separate friends like a gate that's locked with bars. You know, so, um, just find it funny that, you know, we all know those people, we've all experienced those people in our lives that, you know, that, um, that have short tempers. Uh, we all know that, that, that particular person that, that talks behind people's backs that's you know that's a busy buddy a busy body that just you know just likes just talking you know they always know what's going on you know if you if you talk to this person they always have they always have their nose in something they always know what john doe is doing and his wife's doing or <laughs> or their friends are doing they all they always know you know um and the bible's saying you know this is bad you know, rumors, rumors, guys, the Bible says rumors are like, are like wounds that sink deep into one's heart. You know, when you think of a wound, um, I'm thinking of something that, that takes a long time to heal, you know, that take, may take days, weeks, months, years, you know, wounds, wounds take a long time to heal, y'all. And the Bible is saying, this is what rumors do. So we need to be careful about spreading rumors. We got to be careful about the information that we're, we're talking about people. Um, we got to guard our mouth, you know, because the enemy can use use these things and, and twist and and um, and spread lies like that. So, guys, God is saying, you know, we got to we got to check ourselves. We got to we got to watch our mouths. We got to <laughs> we got to cover our mouth sometimes. We got to ask God to purify our heart. You know, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Um, we need to pray for a pure heart. Ask the Lord to work on your heart and what's in your heart to reveal those things that's in your heart. And ask for deliverance. Uh, verse 6 says, um, I just, I personally know about this one because uh, in verse 6 it says, fools, A fool's words get them into constant fights. They are asking for a beating. <laughs> and this may sound a little funny, a little humorous, but, um, you know, the scripture, but it's true. You know, especially uh, for my fellas out there, you know, we all we all been there on the on the basketball court. You know, we all know, you know, those one or two or three people, you know, that just constantly are talking trash. that are full of pride, you know, um, that are full of just, you know, uh, they just like running their mouth. You know, we, we all know that person on the court, you know, that just likes trash talking. But the Bible says, you know, it's a fool, 
a fool. The, <laughs> God calls that person a fool um, who's always running their mouth. Because guess what? Guess what that causes? Fights. You guessed it. And what always ends up and what always ends up happening? Fights. Fights always happen because of someone, some fool running their mouth. Uh, you know the Bible. The Bible nailed this. You know. Um, I remember this one. This one guy up in Michigan uh, when I lived up there. You know, we would always do an open gym, uh, an open gym on Thursdays up at this uh, up at the Hannah Community Center and up in uh, East Lansing, Michigan, and uh, we would always hoop and. There was one guy, you know, he he had a he always had a hot temper. Um, I believe that um, he was a good guy at heart, but you know, he just let people's words get to him, and he had a short fuse, and he uh, he he would always run his mouth. Um, and one day he picked the wrong battle. There was an old guy up there, an old head. Uh, it was this old guy, and uh, you know he's he's been there. He, you know, this guy, he's probably, he was probably in his 40s. We were all like in our, you know, mid 20s. And, you know, he's probably seen, he's probably been there, you know, been there, done that. He's probably seen it all. So this little, you know, this, uh, you know, 20 year old kid was running his mouth on the court. And all of a sudden, the old guy was just, he was fed up of it. He was, he was, he was fed up of the trash talk. He was tired of being disrespected. And, and surely, but, you know, slowly, but surely, uh, at the end of the night, they 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 ended up getting in a fist fight, you know, and it's all because of a you know it's all because of words, you know, the trash talk, you know, a fool's mouth, you know, call it for strokes. The Bible says, it's a fool's mouth that gets him in trouble, you know. So, um, you know, a fool's mouth. The Bible says in verse seven, the mouth of fools are their ruin. They trap themselves with their lips. So, I just want to share some wisdom, guys, with you guys from the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, 6 through 8. Um, that, you know, uh, we need to check our hearts, guys. We need to examine our hearts. We need to have a one-on-one -on -one session with the Lord tonight. Um, and I'm, I'm talking to myself, too. You know, uh, examine your hearts, guys. Um, see what's in it. Ask the Lord to... To create in you a clean heart, oh God. Renew a right spirit in me. You know, that should be your prayer. Uh, that's in the book of Psalms. You know, David prayed, Lord, search me, oh God. Try me. Create me a, a pure heart, a, a new heart. Renew in me a right spirit. Um, you know, so, you know, that needs to be your prayer. Pray that prayer with sincerity and, and the Lord will, will clean you up. He'll examine your heart. Um, so I hope this wisdom, this, uh, this word helps y'all today. Uh, if you want to be a better friend, you know, stop the rumors, ask God to clean you up. Um, don't be a busybody. Don't spread rumors. Um, the Bible says arguments separate friends like, like a gate. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. You know, that's what arguments do, you know, but guess what? Guess what you can do? To fix an argument. It's called humbling yourself. Going to your friend and saying, you know what? This is stupid, man. You you be the first one to apologize. And I guarantee you, maybe not at that moment, but I guarantee you, you humble yourself, you apologize to your friend, you be the first one to say, you know, this is stupid. Let's squash this. You be the first one to uh, apologize and forgive. I guarantee you the Lord will work on that person's heart and it'll be all good. Y'all, you guys will be best friends again. You know, you got to humble yourself. Ask for forgiveness. It starts with, with humility, guys. So I love y'all. Um, You know, at the end of the day, it's not worth it, y'all. You know, um, relationships are, are beautiful, are key. You know, but they're also um, really precious. So ask the Lord for wisdom. Ask the Lord to clean you up. It starts, it starts with the heart, y'all. So uh, God bless y'all. I pray the Lord keeps you and blesses you. And um, have a great day. And Father God, I just pray over this word. Please let this word fall on good ground. And uh, everyone, under the sound of my voice, Lord God, I pray wisdom over people. I pray...
Father God, that you search people's hearts, Father God. Just like David said, his prayer to you, Father God, was creating me a, a new heart, Lord. Renew a right spirit within me. Clean me up, Lord. Clean me. Search my heart, God. Search, search my heart. Remove anything that's not like you or of you. Give me wisdom, God. Give me wisdom. Help me, God, to be a better friend. Lord, remove those offenses, Lord. Help me, God, to humble myself, God. And um, and to apologize. If there's any relationships that need to uh, that are broken right now, I pray, Father God, that you restore those friendships. I pray, Father God, that you unction that person right now to go to their friend to apologize. Yes, God, you are in the restoration business, Jesus. God, I pray your help right now. Oh God, I feel your presence. I get Jesus, I give you all of the glory. Father God, I give you all of the glory. We bind the enemy, we bind Satan. He's a liar and he's defeated in Jesus' name. Father God, we just thank you for victory. You are not the author of confusion, Jesus. Father God, we, we thank you for the victory, Lord. You are, in the, you, are in, you are in the business of restoration and reconciliation. So I pray restoration over everyone's friendships right now and everyone's relationships. Even if it's a, a, a son and his father, between a son and a father or a, a daughter and their father or a father. Uh, a young lady and their friend or a young uh, a young man and his friend. Please restore relationships today, God, for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All glory to Jesus. We thank you. God bless y'all. I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Lord willing.